Hey, what's up guys, so you know it's best here. iOS 11 will be launched in the fall, but right now I'm gonna give you a sneak peek at some of the new features in this new version of iOS. So just gonna jump right into it. Now I have this running on my iPhone 7 and one of the first things I'm going to show you is that I am actually recording the screen using the built-in feature in iOS 11. Now I don't need a third party accessory or to jailbreak my phone. Screen recording is built right in and I can access this and turn it on if I can do it right by swiping up uh, from the bottom and access the new control center layout. Now you can see that I have everything kind of activated here just to show you how much stuff you can fit on the screen at once. Um, but this thing is kind of cool. It does look a little weird at first to me, but um, for the most part, it gives you a very simple layout and you can control the brightness um, just by swiping up and down like that. You can also do a 3D touch in certain things to be able to access more things I can put night shift on if I want. Um, and also you can control the volume. Uh, you can 3D touch this to get more of the common things that you like to use. Um, and this goes on and on. You can control the flashlight brightness just like that. And so I think this is a very ingenious way to give you a lot of controls instead of having to keep going into settings back and back and over and over again. So um, I like the control center update and let's go ahead and move on and show you some of the new things with the camera. So one of the things with the camera is that now if I go to this live photo that I took before and I'm gonna go to this particular one, you can see I shot this a couple of times, but now with live photos, you're actually able to go to that video and you can actually scrub it to find the perfect frame that you wanna use if you don't like the original picture. And you can find that one and hold it right there and you can make that the key photo now. Now you can also swipe up and to be able to access certain things that like you can loop it to make it like a GIF, it'll play over and over again. And it's kind of loading there, taking a little while, but hopefully it'll get there. If not, let's move. Oh, it says it's playing on the Apple TV. All right, so you can see it's still a little buggy, and then we're going to show you some clips from the actual keynote itself. Uh, they have a long exposure mode, so you know, if you see those shots where you see running water, but it's kind of like blurry and stuff, and people normally have to set up tripods and sit there for a long time, now you can do that right here in the settings. And also too, you can do one called bounce, where if you like jumping in the pool, you just keep going in and out, in and out. So all those things are now available for live photos. Now the camera also has built-in QR reader support, so you'll be able to just simply open the camera app like normal, you don't have to tap anything extra, and and hold it up to a QR code and it will give you information like this is a web link and this is, what is this gonna be? Another one and what is this gonna be? All right, another link. All right, so anyway, um, this is nothing kind of revolutionary but it is kind of simple. Don't have to tap anything, just open it up and it'll go ahead and recognize it. Now moving on, let's go ahead and go into maps. Now one of the new things in maps, you can do one-handed zooming instead of having to double tap or to pinch and zoom. Uh, now you can simply double tap and then scroll your thumb up and down. You'll be able to zoom in and out of the map, up and down, up and down and down. Um, and also too in maps, they are adding support for indoor maps for malls and also airports. So you'll be able to find your favorite store or your favorite restaurant in whatever terminal you're going to just by accessing maps. And this is not gonna be everywhere at once, of course, but they'll be slowly rolling this out. Now by using this new updated maps app while driving, you'll now be able to get lane guidance instructions. And also too, you'll be able to see your speed limit. And one of the biggest important things is that they are adding a do not disturb while driving option. So when this is enabled, while you're driving, you're not gonna get any new notifications or distractions coming in. Now, and if somebody does text you, they will get an automated reply telling them that you'll get back in contact with them after you get done driving to your location. Now, if somebody really needs to get in touch with you, they can reply with urgent to the message that lets them know that you're in do not disturb mode. And once they do that, the original message that they were trying to send to you will go ahead and get pushed through. So you're not totally blacked out from the rest of the world in case of an emergency. All right, I just wanna take a look at the new redesigned app store. And they make this simpler, cleaner, because normally the app store can be jumbled up with a lot of different apps coming out and being released. Now to make it simple, you basically have one app at a time that you can see on the display. And I like how video auto plays for some of these apps as well. And they have a separate section for games because games are gonna be some of the most popular ones. So you can quickly just go over, see the most popular games if you wanted to. And I really like the video just playing automatically. Like I do wanna download this game now um, because it looks really cool. And so everything's just laid out very, very well. And I think it's simpler is more allowing me to concentrate and look for certain apps and also they make it very easy to find and discover new apps as well. All right, so anyway, this is the new App Store for iOS 11. I think they did a pretty good job with it. All right, so let's go ahead and move on down to music. And there's one new feature that I do like is that you can create a profile in the music app and you can log in with your Facebook account. And now you'll be able to share your music and playlists to your friends, or you can just share it to everybody and they can do it vice versa. And so if I go down to, for you, I can take a look at my profile and that's my picture. Yes, I look stupid, um, but I'm able to, oh, look at Andrew. He's already 
you're following me. Look at that stalker. I'm joking. Um, but yeah, so Andrew has followed me and he now can see my playlist for my workout and also to my road trip. And if I go to him, this is gonna be my first time doing it to see what he has shared. He shared some of his 90 smash hits. Core demo, best of bad boy. Okay, Miss Thang. Uh oh, what's that? Um, but also his favorite mix. So uh, I think this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool to be able to quickly see what your friends are listening to uh, to find new music. All right, let's talk about messages. And in iMessage now, you will see that once you load it up, um, at the bottom you have some quick access to some of your favorite apps and sticker packs and things like that that you have downloaded. So you can quickly get to them, tap on them, and then you'll be able to add them if you wanted to. So like this Mario. I can place this anywhere on the message and that will go through. Now also in messages, you now can be able to send money via Apple Pay. So you can do user to user payment. So if somebody owes you $10, you can text them that, hey, you owe me $10 from the other night and they have no excuse now, especially if they have an iPhone. Um, they can go ahead and send that payment with Apple Pay and send it right to it. Everything's already built in with your account that you already set up in the settings and send it just like that. Now Apple's also releasing a new app called Files. And this Files app is gonna be able to sync with multiple services like Dropbox and other file sharing services services. You can be able to have everything in one single location to be able to have access to those files no matter what device that you're on. You can quickly share them, access them, and send them to other people. So I don't really have anything set up with it just yet, but that is one of the new features that you're going to be able to do. Now Siri has also gotten better. One, the voice is going to sound more natural, whether it's the female or the male voice is going to try this out. Siri, what's the weather going to be like for the next five days? What's the population of Indonesia? The population of Indonesia in 1983 is about 159,097,735. And you can see just a transition from word to word sounds a lot more fluid um, than it did previously. And another new trick that Siri has up its sleeve is that it can translate what you're saying into certain languages. Let's go ahead and try that out. How do I say I like turtles in French? How do I say, where is the nearest airport hotel in Spanish? Yeah, just like that. Now in iOS 11, if you do take a screenshot like this, it will show up in the bottom left hand corner. And now you can tap on this and quickly go to markup. Now markup allows you to change the color. I'm gonna change it to red so it shows up better. But I can use a pencil or marker or whatever on here to kind of draw over it. So if you're trying to take a picture of something and write some quick notes on it or uh, highlight something, you can quickly do this now by taking a screenshot. And so, yeah, I mean, these are most of the things in iOS 11 that they talked about. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be some other things that people uncover and some more things that probably be released before the final version of iOS 11 hits the streets in the fall. And I just wanna give you a quick tour of these. Definitely leave your comment down below about your first thoughts about iOS 11. And I'll be making follow-up videos as I find more features and also do different things with this new software. And also leave your comment down below if you find one of those features and let me know so I can go ahead and check it out for you. But like always, guys, I wanna thank you for watching this video. Make sure you do follow me on all my social media networks. All those links are down below. And subscribe to me here on YouTube to be notified when I upload new videos. And I will catch you later. Switch the phone. Peace.